Welcome back to Love Your Food. Today we're going to show you a couple of beautiful pickling recipes. Now, we're going to show you two different approaches to pickling here. We're going to show you the, uh, the carrots first. And those are sort of a hybrid pickle, somewhere between a fermented brine and uh, a vinegar pickle. And then uh, we'll move on to those onion pickles you see in the other jar. But uh, first we're going to start with our carrots. And uh, couldn't be any simpler. We're going to do carrot, some vinegar, uh, some salt, uh, a quart of water, and uh, some garlic in there as well. Now we're going to start with our brine. So we're going to put the salt, uh, our small cup of vinegar, and all of our water into a saucepan. I'm just going to use the water to rinse the last that vinegar out. And we're going to put that uh, we're going to put that over medium high heat. We just want to get that boiled and all the salt dissolved into that water and vinegar. Just give it a little stir to make sure that everything's dissolving properly. Now the uh, salt really allows for the fermentation to take place and the vinegar inhibits it because carrots are quite sweet. So you do want to allow that sweetness to stay in the final product for as long as you can. Now we're going to uh, end up putting this into two different jars and we're going to layer it a little bit. So let's cut that garlic into four and then we're going to cut the carrots into, uh, we're cutting here into rounds, but you can do any sort of thing with these uh, during the, the pickling process. When uh, Chef Caleb was running his restaurant, he used to cut them in strips and uh, pickle them that way. And uh, they made really excellent garnish for the Caesar we made. So here we go, one quarter of the garlic in the bottom of the jar, and then a big handful of carrots. And we're going to also show you here what happens when you have enough carrots for more than one jar, but not quite enough for two. Now you do want to peel these before they go in. And uh, once you're halfway up, you're going to put the other half of that... Uh, half of garlic in there, so another quarter in there. That's just to infuse a little bit of that garlic flavor into the rest of the brine and uh, add some flavor to the whole carrot. So, once that brine has hit a, a big roiling boil, we're going to turn the heat off. Now, before we add that to our carrots, we do want it to cool down pretty close to room temperature. So, here you can see it's quite cool. And uh, we've prepared two jars of carrots here. Now, we didn't have quite enough carrots on hand for two full jars. So uh, we're just going to make sure that this one, we get all the carrots submerged. You do want to make sure they're all covered. So all those carrots get covered. And the other jar, since we have a little extra brine, we're just going to top that all the way up. Make sure they're both good and filled. And then just put the lid on. That's it. Easy as pie. Those are done. And then just leave those in the uh, leave those in the fridge, and they'll do their thing. Now we're going to show you our onion pickles. So we've got these beautiful red onions. We've got some salt, some aromatics here, some garlic, cloves, star anise, a bay leaf, a dried chili pepper, uh, some cinnamon there as well, some sugar. All the amounts, of course, will be in the uh, ingredients list below. And some vinegar. Now, this is a vinegar-based pickle. This is not a fermented pickle. There you have your nice empty jar there. So we're going to start with our brine. Now, this brine is entirely vinegar uh, with some sugar. So this is a sweeter pickle, for sure. So we're going to start with our sugar, our little dash of salt. And then, uh, and then follow that with the vinegar. And again, this we, we definitely want to give it a stir once we get it on the heat. You can put that on high heat. We just want to bring this to a boil. Make sure that all gets nicely dissolved. So give it a good stir once it starts to get warm. You want to make sure all that sugar dissolves in the vinegar. Now we love these pickles because they turn such a great color. They uh, The white part really turns quite pink and the purple is very bright in the in the brine. So we're going to divide up this cinnamon stick much like we did the other one. We're going to divide it in half and then half again. 
and also with the bay leaf we're going to divide that up. Just make sure all your spices get uh, divided in half here. In this case we're only going to be doing one jar so uh, we only have to do it in half. The pepper flakes uh, again this is one of our home dried uh, chilies that uh, uh, we dried ourselves. We're just going to give it a little chop. We like it a little bit spicy and the smaller the pieces are the more contact they get with the brine the more heat sort of builds in those onions uh, as they as they pickle. Now we want to get these in uh, <clears throat> sliced cross cut here. And really, at this point, you can decide how big you want to make the pickles. Uh, remember that you can always slice them later, you can chop them once they've been pickled, or if you want them to be ready in a particular size, then you can make them that size from the beginning, make them smaller, um, make them a little thicker, however you like. And we're just going to stuff the jar with these. We found that one of these jars usually fits around two fair-sized red onions. And we're just going to get all of that into the jar. And once it's about halfway up, now for this one we don't want to have a whole lot of air in there, so we do want to tamp it down a bit and make sure we uh, reduce some of the space. So halfway up the jar, make sure there's uh, not a whole lot of air space in there and put the rest of our aromatics, then the rest of the onions on top. So you can see our brine once again at a good roiling boil. We're going to turn the heat off right away. Make sure that everything is dissolved in there. So there's our sugar and salt dissolved in the vinegar. And while that's cooling, we're just going to uh, pack the rest of the pickles into the jar. Well, future pickles at least. You can make this look prettier if you like. It's not really going to affect, affect the taste. Just get all of that in there. And if you have a little extra red onion left over, you can always cook with it. So just make sure that those are all packed well in there. Once again, you want to sort of reduce the amount of air that's in there. You don't want to, you don't want little pockets of oxidized onion in your pickles. Now this is nice and cool. Caleb's going to demonstrate by holding the bottom of the pot, and uh, we're just going to pour that into our nice tightly packed jar of onion slices. And let that fill up. You do want to make sure that uh, all of your onions are covered as much as possible in there. So as you can see, we're just a little bit short, but we're going to we're going to push those down into the into the brine a little bit, make sure that everything's covered in there. So we find a wooden spoon is the best idea for this. Just crush it all in there. If you're seeing there's there's a lot of air bubbles as well inside. You can always just slide that uh, wooden spoon down the side, let some of the air bubble out, and then push those onions back down in. And then uh, they come out looking a little bit like this. We love these pickles. They are great in sandwiches. They're great all over the place. Leave those in the fridge for a couple of days at least before you open them up, and they can stay in the fridge for a long, long time as they uh, change in flavor and gain flavors. And uh, They're pretty amazing, honestly. We use them all in a lot of dishes. So. so please like and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, and please leave a comment below if there's any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try. And remember to love your food.